So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get us about five or six heifers to put up in the lead, lead up behind the squeeze chute um, and get ready to deworm them. So I'm just gonna try to ease in here, get me a few cut out. So I've got a few more than I need, so I'm just going to try to ease up past them and let a couple of them peel off. One thing, you see the heifers wanting to turn around and come back towards me. The reason being is we actually have somebody in the wrong position to get our video shot here, which normally we wouldn't have that. So what we're going to do as you see, some of these heifers have already been through this process and know when the opening is. But we're gonna come in here and spin the rest of these around. If she doesn't wanna go, don't push her. Just get you another one. See, now she, yeah, she's not quite ready. Just let her come on back out. Keep the momentum. Spin these heifers around us. So I don't want to get this too full. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this. And then I'm going to come out um, and we'll go ahead and demonstrate deworming. Okay, so we did the first heifer in the chute. Now we're just going to come down and do the rest of these. Nice and calm. And basically I've just dewormed four heifers in about 20 seconds here. So we'll go ahead and let them out and then bring our next set in. So we're just gonna ease in here and get us a few more. This facility isn't the best design in the world, but it's workable if you know how to use it. We added this extra, this extra panel was added in here just to help flow these cattle down so you can step around and come in here and peel you some off. You notice I'm not doing any hollering. I wanna be real calm and easy with these heifers. Big thing when you're working cattle is don't get excited. You get excited, the cattle are gonna get excited and it's gonna be harder to handle them. Come on, girls. These heifers are pretty calm, which actually sometimes makes it a little more difficult to move them. They're not wanting to move, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and actually push them the opposite direction of where I want them to go. And so I'm gonna push them up in this other corner where I actually want them to come back over here past me. So I'm just gonna put a little pressure on them, push them up in this corner, and then let them escape past me, hopefully. Ideally, they would move on with a little more speed and keep going. Like I said, these are pretty calm, which is nice sometimes. Makes it a little more tricky when we're pushing them around. So what I want to do when I have them standing behind me, I want to get on the hip of these heifers and ideally spin them back around me and send them up that lead up roughly one at a time. So I'm going to step into her. She's not ready to go. Let her come back out. I actually got a little few too many heifers in this area back here. Ideally as small as this little box is back here, we'd probably only want about four of these heifers in here. You can see those other heifers are standing up there in that lead up on their own. We didn't put any pressure on them, so they're not trying to come back out of there. <laughs> Typically, we don't wanna leave a calf by themselves. This one's pretty gentle, so we can do it. You notice that heifer wanted to come right past me so she could go to where the other ones are at. So we're just gonna go ahead and move around her. We'll catch her and demonstrate how to put those ear tags in. 
When you're by yourself, one thing you can do is we have a pipe here that we can slip behind this heifer so she's not backing up as we're trying to work our way up to the chute. 